All right there everybody, John Sweet Pea here, and let's get on with one monster dot what? And today, Ultimate Doom Music, Bookshot Waltz. And, yep, it's the return of those delightful hit scanners, otherwise known as Shotgun Guys. They're back! That means more wars of attrition with them. Oh joy. 211 of them stand in our way. Always that means we're only be using one weapon type for the entire map, which is a good thing considering Arachnophobia was kind of an ammo sink with those damn Arachnotrons. Unfortunately, it does mean we'll have to be very careful on this map to avoid getting killed. Wow, this is a bit good. Having to deal with that already. Oof. Not nice, particularly. So it's uh, it's going to be something to get used to back to the old Doom library after last night's excellent pirate Doom stream, which I did, which was a heck of a fun time. But, you know, can't stay with custom weapons and awesome plasma cannonballs forever. Even though the cannonball plasma thing was the best plasma gun I've ever seen. Even surpassing nearly so bad in the BFG for me, just how useful it was. If you weren't there, you missed out on a good stream, let me tell you. Pirate Doom is a great one. You should definitely play it. It's well worth your time to check it out. But, on to business at hand. You thought we deal with hit scans by now, or shotgun guys. Basically, they're extremely... Oh, wow, free one shot, aren't I lucky? You know we deal by now with hit scans. They're a bit annoying because they can hold the aim just like you can. Which makes them one of the worst enemies in Doom, even though they're very easy to kill. They use the same weapon attack style you do, so therefore they are very they can be very devastating. I think we triggered that a bit early, so we managed to save ourselves a bit of ambush time. <coughs> so all hit scans, including the pistol guys and the chain gunners, are always a top priority for me when it comes to larger battles in Doom because, well, they can be really devastating. Even though they're easy to kill, it doesn't stop them from being annoying. It takes away from the whole evasion factor. Ooh, that's some nice pipes in there. Look at that, trying to be sneaky again. And shotgun guys can be very sneaky. They're underused though a lot in Doom 2, they kind of get replaced by the um, chain gunners, so quite an effect with the dripping leakage there. It reminds me of a point that um, was made by Retog in the last video, and what was mentioned in the video before that. Um, basically, it feels like with One Monster Dot Ward, a lot of the, the levels are kind of... Um, they're more about the visual aspect rather than the actual challenge, per se. You know, it's all about the visual priority. I mean, the maps do look quite good for Doom 2, you know. I mean, there's a lot of nice little visual details and stuff. Which can't really be ignored. Oh, God. Now the thing in the middle is rising up through this. Huh. I'm not exactly sure why that rose up particularly. I thought it was just to create more ease. Clowns to shoot. Hmm. Bit of a shooting practice, this. <coughs> I have to agree that the visuals for, you know, using vanilla Doom textures does look quite nice, but. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're going to go down here. Yep. <laughs> so when I eventually get the. Oh god! Oh my! That could have been nasty. Good thing I went forward instead of back. A sneaky one around there, trying to get his licks in. Which is always good. Take these health things first. Oh my! Oh boy! This is where things get awkward. Lots of shotgun guys at this range. Oof. Not very nice, particularly. I'd be glad to get out of there. Ooh, that could have been a lot worse. I was expecting a few more, but I think they realised that's kind of an awkward situation for um, the player to be punning. 
And that's one of the things about hit scans, because it takes away from the whole evasion factor of Doom, where you, like, you sometimes will take damage in if you're super awesome with skill and all that. You know, the fact that they can actually hit you, it, it kind of means you have to be very sort of careful when using them, because, you know, it's not like you can dodge a shotgun blast that is basically randomly allocated as to whether it's going to hit you or not. It's just not that simple. You, know, you can't just go, oh, I'm just going to be able to dodge, say, a shotgun bullet, because you can't. It either hits you or it doesn't, and the distance does kind of play a part in that, but no, the most part, it's going to hit you, and that kind of means that you got to bounce it very, very carefully when you're doing a Doom map, you know, because you can't always evade shotgun blast the same way you could, say, avoid a Baron of Hell fireball or anything. You have to be kind of careful. This is going to be... Gee, I wonder what's going to happen when I take the rocket launcher. Hint, hint. Oh. Let's use a super shotgun. Oh my god, now here's where we're going to need to use the super shotgun, I think, for some mass clearance. I refuse to use anything except shotguns on this level to conserve ammo for future. Now we have access again. It's good. I heard that. Just gonna see if I can't trigger out whatever it was early. Ah, something else has opened up back there. Hmm. What? Hello! Secrets! Ah, good thing I heard that sound cue. I wonder what it was. Anyway. I'm gonna use a rocket launch, you must be joking. I'm gonna use I'm gonna save rockets for later. Huh. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if this is a secret. Yep, bit of an obvious secret there. Wow, not even through a hundred of these guys yet. <coughs> oh, I can hear them though, you can hear those growl those sort of weird rumbling sounds. I think we're about to get to possibly the set piece of the level by the looks of it. So, I'm just going to pop a save here, because this could get ugly. We might die once or twice, arguably. Although, if we're going to appear in the center like that, maybe we won't have to worry so much. Wow, I'm really wasting my super shotgun blast here, but screw it. Is that it? Wow. <laughs> that was a bit easy. Oh, here we go. And just in, and that Nick of Q, the invisibility orb, really comes into hay here. Oh my god, here we go. Here's the main slaughter fest action. Shotgun guys everywhere. The invisibility orb is possibly the best kind of item at this point. Really going to disorient these shotgun guys firing. This is just pure, unadulterated cardboard. Carnage, really. This really lasts quite a while as well, so it doesn't go off too easily. And the perfect situation to use it in. I can even afford to be super wasteful with my super shotgun because just everything is dropping shotgun, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, the exit's now in sight. So I'm gonna put a few more of these switches down. There's one over here, maybe. No, that gives seems to give us access to the exit and Conversely, the end of the level. Ooh, we found all the secrets as well. Good haul. Alright, a very profitable level. We finish on a good health count with full armor. No ammo wasted, full gains on chain gun ammo, and 100% everything. That was an alright level. I'm starting to see how the definite sort of the, um, the style that the map has made, it's not so much about difficulty per se, it's about making a nice level and then just filling it with one monster type. I definitely don't have a problem with that really, I mean as long as the level itself has a nice gameplay flow, like that one actually did, then even hitscan monsters don't have to be too annoying. Of course we've yet to come across the most annoying one yet, but we'll see. Overall, good level by Riothian. Let's see what's up for next time. Ooh, another one by the same author, Chamber of Souls. Ooh, now this could be interesting. Chamber of Souls. So, what did you think of Bookshot Waltz? Did you like the level? 
Did you think it was another nice visual level? Or did you think the gameplay was actually good for once? And what enemy do you think will crop up in the Chamber of Souls? It may be Lost Souls, but it could also be Pain Elementals, you know. But it could be anything, really. It's a bit vague-ish. Probably Lost Souls, though. Anyway, let me know any thoughts in the comments below, and I'll catch you all next time for part 9 of OneMonster.Watts. See you later, Doom fans.